Hi, my name is Devaraj and welcome back to Bioenergetic Workouts number two in the series. And today we're gonna, I'm going to guide you through the bow and the arch, the most basic position of bioenergetics. Generally credited to Alexander Lowen, founder or often called the founder of bioenergetics. Some people have pointed out that ethnographically or something like this, that maybe it comes from the uh, Native Americans or the Inuit Indians. I've heard these stories. Um, anyway, it's a great way of opening up the whole back line of your body. It also, if you haven't done a lot of body work or, you know, if you haven't done much bioenergetics or whatever, your body's a bit big or a bit stiff, it can be quite challenging. So take it at your own pace. Okay, so I'm going to get my little ding track going. There's a bit of music in the background by a chap called Manish Vyas. Find a space in, space in your room. Let's see if you can see my feet even from here. And stand with your feet about shoulder width apart, eyes open and just kind of give yourself a little shake to kind of drop any shoulder tension that's there. And we're gonna go into the arch. So start to let your head hang down. <sighs> Chin falls to the chest. Focusing on your breathing until your hands are hanging. Your hands are about eight inches from the floor, 20 centimeters from the floor, your fingers, fingertips. If you're not so flexible and you can't get down that far, don't worry, just go as far as you can. And if you are flexible and you can get right down, don't go right down. You know, stay with your, your fingers about eight inches from the floor. That's the optimal position for most people. Ah, and then what I'm gonna do is jiggle my head a little bit and jiggle my arms because people often, especially people who come from a background where they had to control a lot as a kid, they lock their head up and they pull their arms towards the, the, their feet towards their legs. So your head and arms should be like a rag doll, rag doll head, rag doll arms just hanging. And you can just verify that by giving them a little shake every now and again, but you're not locking up. Your weight goes towards the front of your feet if you can. You don't have to lift your heels right off the ground, but towards the front of your feet. And your legs should be nearly straight, but not quite locked straight. So you feel a bit of a stretch in the old hamstrings. Eyes open is good eyes looking at whatever's behind you and very very important breathe out through the mouth breathe in and out through the mouth in fact because breathing through the mouth breathing out through the mouth in particular engages with your body engages with the feeling you may notice a bit of stress starting to come try and breathe into it and through it rather than locking your body and holding breathing out ah Feeling your body, ah, staying hanging. You need to keep yourself on the edge of your comfort zone and if it's really too much, you know, put your hands on your knees every now and again to take some of the stress off your lower back. That's okay. But if you do the exercise again, see if you can go a bit deeper into it and don't need to support. But keep yourself on the edge of your comfort zone. You don't need to push yourself into pain and if you're new to this kind of thing, you don't want to traumatize yourself and think, God, I'm never doing that shit again. So keep it within your comfort zone, right on the edge of what you can comfortably manage. Right on that edge is the developmental edge of you, of, for us. Breathing out through the mouth, you can make a bit of sound is good. Ha, ah, ah, ha, as your tension comes. Ha, ah, and there's the ding. So slowly I'm gonna come back up, feeling every, every little bit of the way. If I want to, I can put my hands on my knees to keep my lower back from getting too much stress as I come back up. Remember, edge of a comfort zone. And now you lift your arms up and bring your pelvis forwards. Your arms back behind your ears and your pelvis pushing forwards and breathe again. I've actually got you, may if you're sharp eyed, you can spot, I've got a little cushion under my heels, but that's a, I had an ankle operation when I was a kid because my tendon tendons didn't grow, you almost certainly won't need that. Ah. Ah. And just start to breathe and make a little bit of sound and release, particularly if it's, if, it's, if it's creating tension. Feel the back of your neck. If your back of your neck is tense, breathe out with a bit of sound from that area. Just feel into that, that tension and breathe out whilst keeping the position going. Remember, pelvis forwards, arms back behind your ears, and stretching up to the ceiling. Breathe and feel. This is a stress position, it is challenging. 
It is not totally straightforward for most people, but it will open your body and it will allow much more energy to flow in your body. Your muscles will start to release all sorts of old holding patterns that have been, uh, which psychologically have been holding you back. So if you really want to become you know, effective in life and really, really powerful, if you want to become clear, if you want to become loving, bioenergetics is your big friend. It brings your body on board. So hold the position, breathe. Breathe out through the mouth. You know, I'm breathing from my guts out. I'm monitoring the tension in my neck and I'm, I'm making a bit of sound, so do the same. Ah, breathe. You know, you can even laugh a bit. Your eyes should be open, looking dead ahead, or just a little bit up. Ha 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 Try doing it. If it's really aching, do a, a kind of Santa Claus belly laugh, you know. Ha 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 and you might feel energy moving in your back, you know, feel some sensation. If you don't believe in all this energy, energy nonsense, then maybe you feel some muscles unlocking a bit, something tingling a bit, you know, it's good. Stay with the position, breathe and feel. Actually, you can do it. You know, you may have some big resistance narrative going round and round your mind, how you should never have started this, you can't do it. It's like having your dad lecturing you, whatever. Feel underneath that stuff. You know, feel underneath that stuff. If you learn to take on your own resistance in a manageable way, you will get so much benefit in life, you know. I see a lot of people trying to be positive, you know, everything positive, positive, positive with their mind, but their body isn't on board. It's no use, you know, you get a result for a while, but you need to get it in the body. And the bells come, I've got to shut my mouth and start to let go of a position. So my arms come down. I relax my body. That was the bow position, and now we're gonna go back into the arch. We're opening up, and now we're gonna go a bit deeper. So we go to the same position. My head becomes real heavy, my chin comes to my chest, and very slowly I start to lean over, just checking my, my feet are just a foot apart or so. 30 centimeters. Ah, oh, I feel a bit of an ache in my lower back. I've been overdoing it a little bit recently, so I've gotta be careful with my lower back. You do the same. And I just hang until my hands are about six, eight inches from the floor. Oh, I'd give my head a little jiggle, my arms a little jiggle to make sure I'm not locking there. You do the same. And breathe, 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 breathe. 99.999% recurring of people learn to hold when stress comes. You know, it's instinctive, but it locks holding patterns into the body. The stress response comes from our early primate ancestors. And they didn't actually have so much stress in their lives, you know. But when shit happened to them, they needed to be able to deal with it, so they had to lock, you know, fight or flight reflex. You learn about this stuff. Ah, <sighs> but we in our life, you know, we have so much more stress because we have psychological stress. The human brain can create very complex sense of self, and the same stress responses are triggered, def defensive reactions are triggered when someone doesn't agree with us. Same as if someone was coming at us with a knife or we, we turned a corner and faced a saber-toothed tiger. Ah, so freezing, you know, freezing and holding your breath when stress comes does not work. It works in a, in, a, in, a, in a fight situation where you have to defend yourself. But it's very easy to accumulate an incredible amount of psychological stress if you're a human being. So breathe out a bit. You know, it's even my body's starting to shake a little bit. If that's happening, then just let it happen. That's a bit of old fear moving out of your system and your body opening more. Breathe out through the mouth, engage with your feelings. Breathe, breathe out, really breathe. Ha! Ah, so you can hear it and you can feel it, breathe. If you're not really breathing, breathe more. Ha! Ah, so you engage with the feeling. Don't just try and survive the exercise. Allow your lower back to open. Maybe you really feel this area of your body. You know, what it feels like to have it open and alive. It is challenging. It is not for the completely faint-hearted, but you can do it. Breathe and feel. Ah. Breathing out through the mouth. Ah. Arms loose, neck loose, weight towards the front of my feet. Ah. And there goes the ding, so slowly we're gonna come back up. You know, don't break if your body's shaking a little bit. Don't break. Don't come back to your socially correct personality. 
Just let your body slowly come back up. Ah, breathing and feeling the whole way. I can feel my back opening. And now once again, we're gonna go back into the bow position. So bring your arms up, bring your pelvis forwards, breathing and feeling the whole way. All the breathing is feeling, they always used to say, it was a famous old saying in therapy about 15 years ago, 20 years ago. And it's true, you know, if you let yourself feel, if you let yourself feel, you know, your body naturally corrects and heals. Ah, oh, so just stay in this position. Arms back behind your ears, pelvis forwards, feet on the floor, firm. Ah, oh, breathe out through the mouth. If your neck is getting tense, breathe out deeper. Your neck is getting tense because, you know, like 99% of humanity, you learn to control your feelings a lot. And so when, when our mind is trying to control a lot, the battleground, the battleground is the neck and the neck becomes real, real tense. So if your neck is tense, you know, you can move it a bit and jiggle it. But the best thing is to really, really breathe out through your mouth, deep from your belly and feeling your neck as you breathe. Make it a sound like this. Oh, I can feel, you know, the, ah, oh, make a sound. Make a sound like you just got into a hot bath. You're not having to do a horrible body position like, ah, oh, you know, make the sound, make the sound. Don't, don't just do it in your mind. Really engage with the process. Engage with your body. Keeping those arms stretched right up, pelvis forwards. Ah, oh, let it out. Ah, oh, allow your body to open. Allow your body to open. You can do it. You can do it. You really can. You know, by now you'll probably have some negativity narratives or survival narratives trolling around in your head, going round and round, how you can't do it, you just wish it would end. You know, why doesn't that bell ring? For God's sake, it must be three minutes by now. Whatever it is, take courage in this moment, this very moment, breathe and feel underneath the story. That's the key. That's the key to becoming powerful and successful in life. Feel underneath the resistance story. Ah. Oh. Oh, let your body open, take courage. You can do it, open. Opening your body in this position, not buying the old stories. Actually, you are fucking awesome, great. You're a great person, you can open your body. You can do it. You can do whatever you want in life, you know. All the old negativity is stored in the back line. There goes the bell again. That must be the three minutes, so we're letting our arms down. Ah, still breathing, still feeling engaged with your feelings. And yeah, I've got some good news for your body, some bad news for your mind. We're going to do it one more time. So head is getting heavy. I'm just checking that the feet are shoulder width apart and the outsides of my feet roughly parallel. And slowly I'm starting to hang down. Nice slow speed, feeling all the way until my hands are about eight inches from the floor. And now I'm down here, I give my neck a little jiggle. Ah, oh, I just feel into my lower back. Feel that ache and stretch that's coming there. Oh, oh. And my weight comes a little bit towards the front of my feet. And I check that my legs are nearly straight. So check your legs. Try and get them just off. You know, you don't want them locked straight so your knees are locked, but just off there. A little bit of flexion in the knees, just a little bit. It may make your hamstrings really ache and burn. Do what you can. Remember, if your position gets really too much, don't, you know, don't take it to a point where you might injure your lower back or something like that. Put your hands on your knees if you need to. Put your, put your forearms on your knees if you need to for a little bit. So you can keep yourself down there. Keep breathing through the mouth. And every now and again, you know, come out of that position if you need to and really hang. So you can take the pressure off, you know. It's... It's okay, but, but face it as much as you can. You will know your own mind by now if you're someone who just soldiers on when there's pain or if you're just hyper-responsive to pain and want to get out of it straight away. You've got to find a middle zone between those two extremes. So you're still down here, breathing and feeling. Breathe. Check in, are you really breathing? Are you breathing out or are you just survival breathing? If so, breathe out. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it even makes you laugh, you know. <laughs> Lying here, hanging here in this mad position. 
you can do it. You know, it's really an achievement. If you didn't do this exercise before and you do three times three minutes, that is an achievement, man. Lady, whatever, you have achieved something big time. So I'm just hanging here. With this exercise, you know, if you, if you start doing it every day, it'll really move a lot for you. You know, you might be feeling right now, fuck that. <laughs> but, you know, see how you feel later. And if you feel good, something's moved, you know, you're going to want to do it again. And you can build it up, you know, you can build it up. Four minutes, five minutes, put a bit of music on your sound system on repeat. It's a good length. This is three minutes we're doing today in each position. But you can adjust that up. You know, you can take it to 10 minutes if you want. That's pretty hardcore. 10 minutes down and 10 minutes up. Ah, and it's for Bell again. So soon, eh? And then just slowly let your body come up, you know. If you're worried about your lower back, put your hands on your knees to support yourself. Ah, breathe out and feel. And for the last time, we're going to go... We're gonna go back into the, the bow position so our arms are coming up. And yeah, yeah, oh, that pelvis is coming forwards and my arms are back behind the ears, you know. Pull those arms back behind the ears. It's very important. People do it, just an arm stretch up, that's great, but you have gotta get them back behind the ears as well. So that's where they're going, back behind the ears. <laughs> and pelvis forwards and checking that neck, feeling your body generally, you know, where is the tension? Is it real tense, those two big thick cable muscles that come up vertically up to your head? Are they tense as anything? Try and breathe them out, breathe out of that tension, see if you can. You can jiggle your fingers every now and again, see if a little bit of uh, see if a little bit of tension releases. And another great release exercise, don't break this move. Open your eyes wide and your mouth wide and express a bit like ah, 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 ah. some mad old gargoyle yeah you can do that but keep the stretch going you know same to, as laughing you know it helps to let a bit of a holding move let a bit of a tension move you notice I'm talking and opening my mouth a lot and that helps you know so make some sound when you do this you don't need to go into a whole screaming catharsis but allow your body to make sound just just let your throat open and ah let it out let it out a bit, you know. If you're a British kid, we have so much fear. You know, if we had Brit you, if you had a British childhood, you know, good children should be seen and not heard. Fuck that, you know. It's time to open your throat. Oh, you don't want to live in that little box your whole life. Your throat is very important, you know, that you can open it. So much tension around the throat. So, you know, let your voice come. Keep the stretch going. Arms behind your... Arms behind... And those but pelvis forwards, pelvis forwards. But you can make sound, you know, breathe, breathe, open. Keep that stretch, those arms stretched up and back behind the ears as much as you can. Ah, ah, letting it out, letting it out, letting it out. Ah, big breath, a big breath. Ay, 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 ay. Breathe out, breathe out. Letting your body open, letting your body open. Ah, 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 that's it, the final bell. Ay, 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 ay. Allow your body to Let your body kick out a little bit. Ay, 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 ay. Well done. You did it. Give yourself a big pat on the back. You did the bow and the arch for 18 minutes. Full on. Now you've got to have an awesome day. Speak to you later.